Hey friends, my name is Osama, and today I'll be sharing a really special story. It's about the United Arab Emirates and how it became the Arab world's first nuclear power. In this video, I'll be sharing the origins of the UAE's nuclear program. I'll answer questions like, why did this oil rich nation choose nuclear? What is UAE's nuclear strategy? The nuclear power plant itself? And lastly, what do the people of UAE think of a, about nuclear energy? Baraka is the name of the nuclear station which fun fact in Arabic has three meanings, which is one, prosperity or prosperous blessing, number two, continuity, and three, something that remains in place. And the nuclear power plant is a prosperous clean energy resource that will continuously provide UAE with reliable energy and remain in place for the next 60 years. It truly is a baraka. Baraka produces clean electricity without greenhouse gas emissions. In fact, it will prevent the release of 21 million tons of CO2 annually, equivalent to removing 3.2 million cars from the roads every year. That's about the same number of cars as all the cars in the UAE at the moment. Now let's jump into the power plant itself. It's four units, APR 1400 designs, uh, and it serves a population of just under 10 million and provides 25% of the country's electricity needs for the next 60 years. The first unit, as of this video's uploading, is officially online and running at 100% power. Once all four units are fully operational, Baraka will be the seventh largest nuclear power plant in the world. Now, why nuclear? What's, this, what's the story behind UAE's journey into adopting nuclear energy? Well, the journey starts with the UAE noticing that its economic growth was being outstripped by its electricity supply. Eventually, projections revealed that it would become a bottleneck for its economic growth itself. There's a very strong correlation between electricity supply and economic growth, which is pretty much almost directly proportional. And the UAE they conducted and published an independent policy on nuclear energy, which proposed increasing electricity supply from 15.5 gigawatts in 2008 to around 40 gigawatts in 2020. Now, coal was dismissed as an option and renewables would only supply six to 7% of the country's needs in 2020. The 2006 study showed that annual electricity demand in the UAE would grow at three times the global average. This remains true despite the impacts of the 2009 economic crisis and the 2020 pandemic, which had an impact on energy demand growth. As recommended by, by the IAEA, Abu Dhabi set up a corporation known as ENEC or the Emirates Nuclear Energy Corporation. ENEC is the entity mandated to develop and implement the UAE Peaceful Nuclear Energy Program, which includes Baraka, but also human capacity development, supply chain development, R&D, and other aspects. Now, let's jump into how it prepared to become a nuclear nation. Well, the UAE developed a white paper focused on five principles. Number one, safety. Two, security. Three, non-proliferation for transparency, and lastly, fifth, sustainability. In 2008, the UAE planned well in advance and developed a one, two, three agreement. Now, this is also known as the gold standard, which in 2009 was accepted and publicly announced under Obama's administration. Let's jump into the nuclear station itself. Now let's walk through the UAE's construction strategy. So originally nine countries expressed interested bid on the first nuclear construction project, but ultimately three were chosen, which were number one, EPR, which is by France, Arriva. Number two, GE Hitachi, which proposed the eight advanced boiling water reactor design. And lastly, KEPCO. Eventually, Korea did win this bid by underbidding an uh, offer of $20.4 billion, which is a cost to construct, commission, and, and fuel the four units. In 2016, ENEC and KEPCO signed the joint venture agreement for the operation of the Baraka plant. With the joint venture, KEPCO took an 18% stake in the Baraka project, which includes equity shares in the two joint venture companies, Nawa, the operator, and Baraka One Company, which manages the finances and contracts. What's the location of the site? Baraka is located at the coast of the UAE, around 53 kilometers west of Ruiz and 300 kilometers west of Abu Dhabi. It's also a little cl more closer to Qatar, which is, which is a neighboring nation, rather than to its own capital. Let's walk through the reactor technology itself. These four units are Advanced Pressurized Water Reactors, or APR 1400. The capacity for each is 1,400 
uh, megawatts, they are expected to provide 25% of the UAE's energy capacity. They have a 60 year projected lifespan and they're also generation three plus designs. Reactor designs are based off a system 80 plus design. So what does that mean? It's basically a certified design by the Nuclear Regulatory Commission or the NRC, which is the regulatory commission in the United States. Now, several design modifications were also made to this plant because of its unique location. Larger pumps, also heat, larger heat exchangers uh, were, were made due to the Gulf, the Gulf waters, higher temperatures. Also, let's, let's walk through the public opinion. Now, public opinion is pretty important when it comes to nuclear energy. What do the people of UAE think? In early 2017, 83% of people surveyed by the market research company Kantar were strongly in favor of nuclear power, as opposed to in 2013, right after Fukushima, only 70% were in favor. In 2019, a more recent research study was conducted by Nielsen, which found that 91% of the UAE residents support nuclear energy. Also, 91% think that the program is using the latest technology and will create jobs and boost the economy. And lastly, 90% agree that safety and security are the priorities for the program. So there you have it. There is the story of the UAE's nuclear program. It's the Arab world's first nation to adopt nuclear energy. And hope you enjoyed this video. Until next time, thank you, bye.